Well, hello there, Shirley Rocks here. This is another uh, tutorial video. This is an update on a previous one I did. I did a video called uh, OBS Studio, not streaming, game audio fix. Yeah, that is keyword stuffed. Uh, I didn't think the video would get as many views as it did, and I, I was looking the other day, it's got about 25,000 views on it, which is it's not a huge amount, but it seems to be a common problem people are coming up with, which is I forgot to record this glorious thing here, the mouse, and people are complaining saying it's too hard to follow the video, so I decided to do this as a follow-up video and I'm going to um, go through the settings again, uh, point out the areas I'm clicking this time, and yeah, hopefully help out. Right, so let us, let us uh, go through the settings. So, first of all, I mean you can see where I'm clicking, but I'm going to identify where I'm clicking. So, if you go into settings, and then into audio now normally when you record your audio um you set all your microphone up in here so you can see in here i've got my microphone set up and i've got my default audio set to <laughs> default surprisingly so yeah that's how you set up your uh, audio now if we mosey on over to i'm going to output this is the one we want right so output when you set up um your stream as you can see here there's only one uh, audio track. Now, the trouble I was having, which was this, is when I go to recording, I've got two audio tracks set up here. And what I didn't realize was I've got these set up as separate audio tracks on different channels. And I'll show you what I mean now. So if we press, uh, uh, I'm not getting used to this drawing thing. If you press cancel, come out of this. Now, if you look over here, Oh, I like this drawing tool. Yeah. Uh, if you look, if you look at these uh, little cogs here, now if you click on one of them, you've got advanced audio properties. I, I can't, I can't. No, I can't draw the arrow on that one. Can't draw the arrow on a sub menu. Bear with me. So if you go into advanced audio properties, now look up here. So this. Wait. Whoa. Now this is fine for recording locally. I've got two audio tracks, so desktop audio, which is my system sounds, is on track number two, and my microphone is on track number one. Now, if you remember the previous uh, uh, stream uh, screen, there's only one audio track. So essentially, let me get rid of that, that's annoying. Uh, essentially, this would not be heard in your game, uh, game stream. So what you need to do is you need to untick it and do it like that. That means that desktop audio and microphone are both going through stream number one. So, oh, this, I'm gonna rude the day I, I agreed to do this. So if I go back into my settings, um, go on, where, where's my shortcut? Go into audio again. No, I've got into the wrong section, I'm so professional. Go into output. Now, if you're going to stream in again, you can see I'm on audio track one. I'm not drawing arrows again. Uh, so if we go back into this, you can now see that we are in track number one. Now you can put that one, whatever track you want. You can um, you can put that on track two, three, four. It doesn't really matter as long as you've got them in the same thing so that you will, will output correctly. Anyway, hopefully that, that, that explains it a little bit better for you and you can visually see it. If you do, if you did find this useful, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment and thank you for watching. See you next time.